Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. During the holidays, we tend to serve more dishes with seafood. When it comes to appetizers, there's a nice variety of recipes to choose from. Coquet Saint-Jacques, Lobster Newbird, Clams Casino, Asian Cucumber Salmon Rolls, Oysters Rockefeller, and so on, including this one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my shrimp martini with Robuchon mashed potatoes. This recipe is quite different. The poached shrimp are served with the best mashed potatoes ever. And trust me, the combination is perfect. This is an original recipe I'm sure you'll love. So my friends, let's get cooking. We are making Joël Robuchon mashed potatoes recipe, which is unbelievable. The best in the world, you'll see. So here it goes. In a large pot, we'll add our unpeeled potatoes. I have two pounds here. And fill it up with cold water, enough to cover them by a couple inches. We'll add coarse sea salt, which is about a tablespoon for every four cups of water. And then we'll move on to the stone. We'll bring it to a boil and cook until tender, about 25 minutes. The best way to know is to poke them with the tip of a sharp knife. If it goes in easily, they're done. We'll remove the potatoes from the heat, drain them well, and without waiting any longer, we'll peel them while they're still hot. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. I like to hold a potato with my fork and simply take the skin off with a sharp knife. Easy peasy. When the step is done, we'll pass them through a potato ricer into the same pot we boiled them in earlier. Oops, <laughs> excuse my hand. I don't own a food mill. So I have to cut them into pieces that fit for this. Can you mash them with a potato masher? Mm. It won't do as good a job as a food mill or a ricer. Look at this, nice and fine with no lumps or chunks. Now we'll go back to the stove and this is when it gets a little more technical. First, we'll set the heat on low. Next, we need a small saucepan and we'll add a drop of water, which will prevent the milk from boiling over. We'll put the heat on medium and warm up the milk. I use old milk, but if you want the mashed potatoes richer, use heavy cream. As long as it's not any less than old milk. Come on, we're making Joël Robuchon famous recipe here. Besides a high fat content from the milk, the other secret to achieve these amazing potatoes is cold butter and a lot, a lot, a lot of it, all cut into tablespoon pieces. All right, so let's start. We'll add four tablespoons of butter at a time to the potatoes and we'll stir until almost incorporated before adding some more, stirring very well between each addition. Now, when your arm is almost dislocated from the shoulder, the potatoes should look like this. Very smooth and creamy. We'll then take them a step above this by adding the warm milk a little at a time. Using a whisk, we'll combine the liquid into the mixture and continue doing this until we end up with the most creamy smooth and rich potato texture ever. The last thing we'll have to do is to season with ground sea salt and of course give another whisk to blend into the mixture. You can add white pepper if you want. I prefer not for this particular recipe. We'll spoon the mashed potatoes into martini glasses and place six cold poached shrimp evenly around the glass. 
I'm not showing you how to pose them perfectly because I already did in a previous episode. So click on the top right corner of your screen to find out how. And that's it. We're now ready to enjoy them. And my friends, this is our shrimp martini with robuchon mashed potatoes. Elegant, classy, and absolutely amazing. This is an original way to serve shrimp cocktail. The combination of creamy, warm mashed with shrimp will definitely surprise you and your taste buds. If you want to impress your guests, this is a great appetizer to serve. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!